has made her case for a big showdown with Katie Taylor. I wonder if Heather Hardy could have been better. We'll, respect there. we'll be right back. Maldonado, big hug for Heather Hardy. The crowd enjoyed this fight as well. Good action through all 10 rounds. Sergio, your thoughts on Serrano and her place in women's boxing right now? I think she's one of the best fighters, period. I mean, her, her technique was really impressive. Uh, her, her maturity, her, her, her level of patience, even after almost having Heather Hardy out, uh, the body shots were really impressive. You could see why she's so polished. And Amanda Serrano, clear unanimous decision victory she's going to get. Um, almost stopped Heather Hardy in round one. Heather Hardy had her best round, in my opinion. What was that? The last round, round 10. And round number, what was that, eight? Um, T Street Controversy will fight View360.com. I cover every single major fight live. She is 37 years old, but in women's boxing and in boxing in this day and age in modern uh, medicine and technology, that's not old. You know, I do want three minutes in women's boxing. Now, if you don't know, they're two-minute rounds. Also, the rankings are in shambles. Before my website crashed, my um, colleague had a nice hold of the official rankings for the WBC, WBA, um, IBF, and WBO. They're reading the cards. Let's listen in. For heart. Not yet. Heart had, and she, I mean, she brought the heat from the first round to the last round. She may not have won the battle well, of Brooklyn, but, I mean, what impressive. My bad. I've been off of my um, women's boxing for a little bit. So, you know, the summer's over. Playtime's over. I'm back on it. Here's the uh, punch stats. Good, solid fight, especially since Heather Hardy, was um, her MMA experience has made her a lot tougher, it seems to me. I've been covering her fights for quite some time now. I first found out about them, um, um, her, from when I used to be with a company called Real Combat Media back in the day. And um, she finally got, you know, to fight her rival Shelly Vincent and beat her twice when people didn't think she was going to be able to win. And, you know, I mean, I knew she was going to get beat up, in my opinion. I thought she was going to get beat up by uh, Amanda Serrano. But I'm surprised that she made it out of that first round. You know, that onslaught is crazy. So, I mean, Amanda Serrano, her fundamentals as a female boxer, you don't really see them that good. You know, like she's fundamental to me, she's more fundamentally sound than Katie Taylor. Like, she can be a boxer. She can be a pressure fighter, power puncher. And she can beat Katie Taylor. And I'm wondering, like, what is the hold up with the fight? However, I do want to see Katie Taylor versus Delphine Pursuit too, because I think there's unfinished business there. But also, you know, remember, this fight is at 126 pounds. She's now the WBO. Listen Ladies in. Ladies and gentlemen, we get a nice round of applause out here for both of these fighters, please. After 10 rounds here at Madison Square Garden, we go to the judges' score totals. They read as follows. Robin Taylor and Waleska Rodan both scored about 98 to 91. Julie Letterman scores about 98 to 92. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And the new featherweight champion of the world, La Gran Campeona Puerto Ricanya. Amanda Serrano wins going away, beats a very game and courageous Heather Hardy. But you do see Serrano, Sergio, could be in there with any female fighter in the world at, at many different weight classes as well. She's a seven division world champion and her nickname is The Real Deal. And that's exactly what she proved tonight. She's The Real Deal. Amanda Serrano improves to 37, one and one. Again, has not lost in seven years. Looking to get a showdown with Katie Taylor, who barely got through. Waiting for the uh, post-fight interview. So, yeah, I'm interested in what she is going to do next because this fight was at 126. Katie Taylor's undisputed at 135. She's a seven-division seven division world champion, and she has fought as high as 140 pounds. And then she fought at 115 to jump back up to one. This is crazy. Listen in. Let's please, uh, please subscribe. What did you think of your performance? I mean, it was a great performance. Um, had
other, like I said before in the beginning, she's as tough as this come. She, she became a champion for a reason, and she wasn't just gonna let me take that belt easily. She came to fight, but I was just was the better girl tonight. You know, there's levels to boxing, and she's just not on my level yet. <laughs> It looked like this could be an early night in that first round. It looked like the referee was maybe seconds away from stopping that fight. Did you think you had a knockout in that first round? I mean, I felt it, but um, Heather is a warrior. She came and um, uh, she, she stood for 10 rounds. <laughs> it looked like she tried to change the pace on you a little bit in the middle of the fight, take the fight to you in the fifth or sixth rounds. What adjustments, if any, did you have to make out there? Uh, my corner just told me, you know, to box long punches and catch her coming in and to be, to be smart and technical. You get this win at 126 pounds. I think a lot of people out there are hoping that a move up to 135 pounds and Katie Taylor is next in line for you. Is that the fight you want? I say let's go, but Katie Taylor's going up to 140, so let's see, we'll let's see what, what she wants to do. Whenever she wants, we're ready to go. How do you think a fight like that would play out? Um, no matter where it's at, what well, weight, um, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Gonna Congratulations, win. Amanda. Thank win. you so much. Guys. Chris, thank you so much. Amanda Serrano with a tremendous... Who says she's going up to 140? For real? Mm, well, here's some options. You got uh, Michaela Mayer out there. You know, where's she at? Top rank fighter. But she's at 130 pounds. Man, she, man, she better not go to... Come on. There's unfinished business at 140. Well, then, you know, Amanda Serrano can fight at 140. But I can get that she doesn't want to keep jumping around and wait. You know, you can't, like, what she's doing, like, for example, let's go look at it real quick. You know, like, what she's doing with the jumping around and wait, you know, I can understand if she don't want to do that. That's hard on the body. From um, 130, which she's fought at, to 140, skipping the 135-pound division, down four divisions, five divisions, right? To 115, and then back up 122, one, um, wait, 115, 118, 122, one, three divisions. So maybe she want to chill for a little bit, like at 125, 126, 130, you know, before putting her body through, you know, some shit. Maybe she don't want to go back up. But if it's at 135, but you know what? We're going to see, man. I'm kind of disappointed to hear that, to be honest with you. I'm T-Street Controversial with FightView360.com. Please subscribe. We're fucking ready. You know what stands out there, Sergio? Those stunned faces at Madison Square Garden.